I bought this Fuji X10 in 2011. I think it was around November because that was the time when I took the first photographs with it. And in this video I said that buying this camera was a mistake because I never used it that much. Because it has some flaws. Big, big flaws. Hi, it's Peter here and let's get right into the business. Let's look at some images that I've been making with this camera in the last two weeks and uh, talk about those things why I did not use it back then. But now been using it for two weeks and I gave it another chance and let's look at some images and see how it is. Okay, this one is the first image that I took, one or one of the first images that I took with this camera. And as you can see, it can produce some really interesting colors. And even though this image is quite busy, I kind of like it. It was a snapshot of this tennis court during a rain, even though it's not weather sealed. I first used it when it was really bad weather, because of course, when you have a new camera, you want to use it even though no matter what the weather is. And this image doesn't really tell that much, but the reason that I got the camera is the rangefinder style. It has the viewfinder right there in the back. And the thing is that I can shoot it like this. I can, with this eye, I can look through the viewfinder and with this eye, I can see what happens around the image. Another problem, or not another problem, but one problem with the viewfinder is that it doesn't cover that much. It's only 87% if I remember correctly. And that's of course a bit of a problem if you want to make a precise crop because it's only 12 megapixels. There's not much to crop. So you want to do the uh, composition in camera. But with this one, it is a bit awkward because you can't really see the edges. So there might be some surprising things right out of the edge of the, the frame, which might not be the or something that you want. But then this image was made when I was in downtown Helsinki and was uh, having lunch and all of a sudden I realized that Zelensky is coming to Helsinki and it's about an hour that he will arrive. So I went downtown or closer to the presidential palace and, and see what it is. And I took this image. The car over there, it's not Zelensky, but I think this one was the best image. And there was this girl with the flag. And as you can see, it can produce totally fine images. No problem with that. And then these three photographs are a bit of a cliches when people walking by on a on the street and there is something else and that just make the image with the person in the image. And these type of images are actually pretty hard to do with this camera because there is a big shutter lag. And when you press the shutter, it takes a bit longer to actually make the image or expose the image to the sensor compared to, to newer cameras. I'm so used to just clicking and it's, it's instant. So what I see, I will get. But this one, you have to press the shutter slightly before the things that you want to record happens. And that makes it a bit harder to use. You can get used to it if you only use this camera, but when you're switching between different cameras, it's a real pain and a kind of like a thing that I might not use this camera anymore. I just put it on the shelf and let it be there. Because when people are walking, you want to have the legs like this. This makes the movement better looking. If it's like this, then it doesn't look that good. With this image, it's an older man and maybe walking a little bit slower and a little bit different way than the, the younger woman in, the, in this picture. So in, in, the, in this one, it doesn't really matter. And what I try to do with this is get something interesting because what I first saw is this in the, in the window of, of this store. And then waiting for a little while and she walked in and then I had the man on the back, which first I thought that it will ruin the image. But on, on the other hand, I think it fits it quite well. Then this image shows another big flaw. It's not the camera shake that I had. It's a very long exposure, so it can be used with long uh, exposure because it has image stabilizer. It's not effective as for example, the OM system cameras, of course, it's like 12 years old technology. But look at the highlights. And this was something that made this camera almost impossible to use, are these odd looking edges of highlights. This was actually dealt with Fuji. You could send the camera back to Fujifilm and they will replace the sensor. I never got around to it because I didn't use it. But I like this image and I was waiting for 
only two people be in the picture because I pre-visualized that there's some kind of like a uh, a bit of a scary moment in the evening that someone is walking in the in this uh, pathway and it's a bit dark and then some dark creature is approaching someone and there was perfect moment be because of the bright colors of a woman on the back and this man is walking towards that and it's you know representing a bit of a scary moment in the night of the city and then this image which i will be using as a representation for holidays well maybe i can use it and sell it to a client or something but the thing is that the image quality is quite good not big problems of course high iso isn't at its best because it's a small sensor and there is also some barrel distortion at you know 28 millimeters and one reason that i got this camera was the lens it was 28 to 112 millimeters full frame equivalent f2 to f2.8 so it's quite fast lens and, and very handy uh, focal length so it, it wasn't that bad in that sense and, and that part I did like and still like about the camera because there is more versatility when you're in the street you can zoom in if, you, if you're not close enough and of course when it's only 12 megapixels cropping the image afterwards is not that big of an option and then I took some color images I saw this dress on the window and I thought this make a great image if someone walks in with the proper color clothes I saw these red a reflection and the red car on top someone with the red coat walked in and i think that makes the image position of the legs is not perfect and that's the problem with the shadow lag i missed this one and then i saw this with the light in the back wall and here is another problem because the evf is optical i had to make the exposure compensation but i cannot see from the viewfinder anything about the exposure and the first one of course was overexposed because that's what it does but with an EVF that can really show the exposure I can make the exposure compensation quickly now I had to make the image chimp and adjust the exposure compensation which is this wheel here and it's quite handy you can use it with your thumb but it's not as fast as with with the modern cameras okay I could use the LCD but the problem with LCD here is that it's a bright day and you can't really see anything about from it because it's 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 too bright it's not very bright the lcd and when it's really sunny day you can't really see anything and it's not articulating or tilting it's a fixed lcd so it's not very convenient to use i like this image because of the reflection of the sun on the wall behind the garbage bins it's kind of interesting image and then i saw this i noticed a reflection on this shiny wall on the on the on the building and it made a night backdrop for this rope and it's actually a flagpole rope it was big contrast between the background and the rope so here again i needed to make several images because i cannot see the image from the evf or the image the exposure from the evf so it's a big 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 thing it makes things a lot harder and then this this used to be a movie theater called ritz but now it's it's you know they play snooker and pool in there and i saw these balloons in the window on top of the sign and, and tried to photograph it from further away but there was a big reflections in the window so i had to find a place where there are no reflections and, and this type of image is when you're not in a rush the moment when you press the shutter doesn't matter it's it's you know this won't move and on, on these type of images this this one is really really a good camera and it works quite well and this which i consider to be the best image from last two weeks that i've used this camera is um, is this one at first i saw the bike and the shadows and and the the, the crosswalks make the you know it, there's a lot of going on with the light and shadow and i really like that but then it came handy to have a rangefinder style because i could see with this eye that someone is coming there is a, some dog coming it was a perfect type of dog and a perfect clothing with the with the person and i was concentrating and trying to get the dog to a perfect position and hoping that it will be on the light so that he won't be right in the middle of a shadow when it when it has this particular position the person isn't perfectly with the legs they, that that's not the way i wanted it but what you can do there's something that you cannot do with this but i got the dog to a perfect position and it was you know some part of the face or the or the, or the, or the face of the dog is there is some light and that 
I think made the image and then of course the bike and you know I, I really like this image but all in all I have to say that most likely I won't be using this because of the the flaws that I said and one is the thing that I can't see the exposure from the EVF in many cases it, it's impossible to get the perfect exposure when you don't see it and the LCD is fixed so I can't really turn it and it's not that bright so in a bright day you can't really see anything from it and then the third one is the odd rendering of highlights or the edge of the highlight to the darker part it's it's it just looks bad it's it's horrible it's it's a pity because this camera has a lot of you know potential or it did have a lot of potential now there are a lot of better cameras like the x x100 cameras the ex4 i think is better and then fuji have the x pro 3 so there are a lot of better options but to be honest uh, even though if you can get this really cheap as a used camera uh, i wouldn't get it it's 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 not that good but for certain type of images like this one this totally works fine and one thing that i did not mention is that it has the fujifilm simulations which are which are really nice which i like so because back in the film days fuji was the film that i used so in that sense you know I'm a bit disappointed that the camera isn't working that well as i was hoping for of course back then like 2011 when i got it it was a big big um, disappointment of course when you buy something and then you realize that you can't really use it because it's bad but um, you know luckily i have better options now to shoot some street photography but i hope you enjoyed this video and here is a video about the fuji x100 v that i made a couple of years ago and that's a totally a different camera a lot lot better than this one but hey thanks for watching and bye for now